So binomial and trinomial nomenclature we will do once more. So just uh, simply open the note on your mobile and you see number two binomial and trinomial nomenclature. Now this is how you name. There is a council which gives the names to organisms. Any species which you identify, any organisms which you identify, it has to be classified and specific names have to be given to it. So you use the principles of taxonomy. The principles of taxonomy is that you identify, name, classify, uh, uh, and describe them, maintain specimen of them. This, these are the principles of taxonomy. You do that. But then there is a council uh, which gives a parity among the names. For example, I give a name in India, the same uh, so there is a dog, I give a name to a dog and somebody in America gives also the same name to the dog. That the chances of this happening is very low. He will give a different name. So there has to be a council, there has to be a council which will give the names properly. Okay, now this specimen called dog, I, I give it a name and have 100 years back somebody else gave it a name. Whose name should we take? This is also decided by this council. It has got certain rules and nomenclature. Okay, now binomial nomenclature is a system of naming species using two Latinized names. A dog, Canis familiaris. Or Giraffa camelopardalis, like the, in the example I've given over here, Giraffa camelopardalis. So Giraffa, two names. This is Latinized name. Camelopardalis is also Latinized. And now you see Giraffa is the genus name. It is always in capital. And Camelopardalis is the species name. So C starts with a small letter. Fine. And uh, uh, so, Giraffa camelopardalis means the giraffe. Always uh, 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 write this down in scalar, uh, with scalar bones, it's important. Whenever you write the scientific name, please underline it. The genus name, capital, the species name, small. And you must underline it. And then, no spelling mistake is tolerated in scientific names. So be very careful while you are naming. Now in review, within this, now there, there, there may be two different types of camelopardalis. Go to the next page, trinomial nomenclature. Now there are two types of uh, camels. Two, three types of camels. The first is Western African giraffe. That is Giraffa camelopardalis. That is also camel. But then it has got a subspecies. So you like Peralta. Then the Nubian giraffe is known as Giraffa camelopardalis camelopardalis. So these are different subspecies. Although species they can mate among themselves, but they are in different regions, they are different subspecies. The Angolan giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis angolensis. So, this is the trinomial nomenclature with sub subspecies. The epithet used is for subspecies, by which you can actually uh, classify them on the basis of their habitat. Okay, then let's go to the next. Principle, the principle of priority. So this cover. What are what is this principle of priority number three? Principle of priority. What is this principle of priority? Now I have named a dog Canis familiaris in the year 1900. In the year 1950. Somebody names the dog Felis domestica or Felix catus. 
names the dog Kaliscatus. Now, which name should we take? Nahi. Principle of priority is given to the oldest name. The old fool is always right. Sabse purana name niya liya jata hai. This is the principle of, that will get precedence. Jo baad mein naam diya gaya hai, usko change kar diya jata hai. So you have to talk about an example. I have given the example of Limus Maximus. So, Limax Maximus problem is Charles Linnaeus gave the name to the terrestrial slug. It is a like a mollusk. Limax Maximus it gave, it, gave the name Limax Maximus. Over the years, various naturalists described similar slugs uh, and proposed new names like Limax Giganteus, Limax Variegatus. But according to the principle of name uh, 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 priority, the name Limax Max, Linux Maximus was taken first. Okay. Next day I will take this class on principle of typification. That's a large class. I have to take it on the blackboard. Okay. I will put this recording in the classroom also. Do you people have any questions? Okay.